chapter 5 is all about statistical reasoning. So 5.1 is about exploring data. Our goal is to explore the similarities and differences between two sets of data. Let's do the explore the math together. Paolo needs a new battery for his car. He's trying to decide between two different brands, and both brands are the same price. So he obtains data for the lifespan in years of 30 batteries of each brand as shown below. So we have our two brands, brand X and brand Y. And here we have the, their lifespans in years for the data he's collected. So now how can we compare the data to help him decide which brand of battery to buy? Let's start off with something we know. So we know how to calculate the mean, which is just another word for average, the median, which is the middle number in the set, and the mode, which is the number that's repeated the most times. So to calculate the mean, we add up all the data in the sets, all these data entries, and then we divide by the number of data entries. So here we have 30 data entries. So our total, once we add them all up, is 172.3. We're going to divide it by 30 to get 5.74 years. All right, so that is our average for brand X. To calculate the median, we have to count the number of data entries, add 1, and then divide this by 2. This will give us the placement of the median within the set of data if the data is arranged smallest to greatest. So if there's an even number of data entries, the median will, will end up being the average of the middle two entries. Alright, so for brand X, we have 30 data entries. Plus 1 is equal to 31. We're going to divide that by 2 to get 15.5. So 15.5 is our placement of the median. So we count in 15, and we get here. So this is our 15 but it's 15 and a half. So we have to take the average of these two numbers. So we have 5.7 plus 5.8 divided by 2 is equal to 5.75, which is the median years for brand X. And then to find the mode of the data, simply look for which number is repeated the most in the data. And this number is our mode. So for brand X, 5.7 is repeated three times. So 5.7 is the mode. Now let's remember that our mean was 5.74. And in brand Y, if we were to do all of these calculations, we would get that the mean is 5.72, the median is 5.75, and the mode is 5.9. So when we look to compare these, they're really, really close. So our means here, well, we have 5.74 and 5.72. That's really close. Our median, we have 5.75, oh, and exactly the same, 5.75. And our mode, 5.9, is really close to 5.7. So really, the mean, median, and the mode isn't a good way to compare these data entries, because we get that they're very similar. So let's look at another way that we can compare them. We can also compare data by comparing the dispersion of the data. Dispersion is a measure that varies by the spread among the data in a set. So dispersion has a value of zero if all of the data in the set is identical to the mean, and then it increases in value as the data becomes more spread. So here's an example. We have our set of data is 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, .4, and 5.4. Our dispersion is going to be zero. All of the data values in the set are equal to our mean. All right, the second example is that 1, 15, and 100. So here our dispersion is going to be very high because all the data values are scattered far away from the mean. Range is one measure of dispersion for data. To find the range, take the lowest value and subtract it from the highest value in the data set. So, so in our second example here, we have 100 minus 1 gives us 99 for our range. So for this first example, then, our range would be 0, because 5.4 minus 5.4 is equal to 0. One way that we can picture dispersion is called a line plot. So, how do we make a line plot? A line plot is a graph that records each data value in a data set as a point above a number line. So it measures dispersion visually. That's what a line plot does. To make one, we write the lowest and the highest values of the data. So in brand X, we have our lowest value is 3.1, and our highest value is 8.2. Then we're going to pick a scale using these values. So 3.1 and 8.2 are very far apart, so my scale is going to be 1. Our third step is to plot the data above the number line. So then if there's more than one point for the same value, plot the point above the point that's already there. So if we have two 5.7s, I'm going to plot my dot above 5.7, then I'm going to plot a second dot above that one. So an example of a line plot is on page 209 in the margin of your text, or as follows. So here we have our nice 
summary table of our brand X and brand Y values. And here's our line plot for brand X. It has years from 0 to 9, and they, they go up by 1. And then here's our data points for our brand X. So here we can see the mode is 5.7, which sure enough, we have three values of 5.7. And then here's brand Y, which the, it has the si almost the same mean, median, and mode, but our data looks a lot different. So here, this data is really spread out. So our dispersion value is going to be higher than for this data that is really, really close to the mean. So in summary, the mean, median, and mode of the two brands are about the same, but the range of brand X is more than double the range of brand Y. So examining the line plot shows brand Y's batteries are clustered close to the mean. In comparison, two of brand X's batteries lasted far less than average, and two lasted far longer than average. So for Paulo to make his decision, he needs to also look at the dispersion of the values. So it's possible that he might be better off with brand X, because there's always a chance that he could get a longer lasting battery. However, you could also end up with a battery that lasted for a very short period of time. So then, he has a better indication of how long the battery is going to last in brand Y, because they're all relatively close together. So, in summary, our key ideas. So, measures of central tendency, such as the mean, median, and the mode, are not always sufficient to represent or compare sets of data. You can draw inferences from numerical data by examining how the data is distributed around the mean or the median. So to compare sets of data, the data must be organized in a systematic way. But So like, make yourself a line plot or m put your data in order from smallest to greatest. So when analyzing two sets of data, it's important to look at both the similarities and the differences of the data. So for in this case, our similarities were the mean, the median, and the mode. But our differences was our range and the dispersion, as we saw on the last slide.